Pastor Justin here again. I want to tell you today that I am looking for a wonderful day. Today is Sunday, and so we're going to have an awesome time in the Lord. I know that Pastor Ronnie has an awesome sermon prepared for us this morning, and I'm excited for what God's going to do today. Before we get into all of that, I want to say I've got a few things for you I'd like you to think about. Number one is, have you ever heard of a person who was in prayer all the time, in their word all the time, remaining discouraged for very long? And you think about it, no, not really. I can't think of one person that has devoted their life to prayer and, and the word of God and remained discouraged for very long. I mean, you think about some of the people that, that you know or that I know, um, some of the old saints, I like to say, you, you've seen them go through some quite, quite a bit of suffering and, and even tragedy in life, yet they still have courage and still remain true to their heart. It's pretty awesome when you think about it. So there's got to be a secret in there. If you think about Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 through 7 says, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your requests be known to God and the peace of God will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. So the first thing I want you to know is, is that there truly is power and breakthrough in prayer. And when you have a life of prayer, as well as reading the Word of God, there are things in your heart and your mind that just get in line with His Word. I mean, it's by default. If you are consistently reading His Word, you're going to mimic His Word. If you're applying it, if you are consistently in prayer with Him, it increases your potential to hear from God. I mean, that's just basic common sense. The more you communicate with a person, the more you can hear the person. The next thing I would like to say is, is what exactly is prayer? Now, of course, prayer is, and here we read, that you should be able to make your uh, requests made known to God. We understand that the Bible says, go boldly before the throne of grace. We understand that the Bible says, ask and you shall receive. Knock and the door shall be opened to you. We know all of those things. But let's focus on what prayer really is. In reality, prayer is about being with God. It's about being in His presence. It's about communicating with the one who died for you. It's about understanding that he is the author and finisher of our faith. Therefore, when I communicate with him, by default, I am receiving the things I need from him. And understanding that it's much easier to ask from someone you have a relationship with. It's also understanding that it's much easier to ask for someone when you have been you have shown gratitude and thankfulness to that person. And the same thing goes with God. When you have an attitude of thanks, whenever you have an attitude of prayer, but prayer with supplication and thanksgiving, that God will and is inclined to hear your requests. Also, when you have an attitude of that you go to Him with every need, He is more inclined to hear your requests. I just want to encourage you today that if you have been challenged in your prayer life, and maybe you've thought that, hey, I don't really know how to pray. And I understand that there are many people out there that really don't know how to pray. Let me tell you, it's this simple. Pray like you were talking to your closest friend, because that's who God is. I just want to say thank you guys for joining us today, and I want to encourage you, because I believe that great things are coming, and hey, we're going to have a great day in the Lord today. Amen? Amen.